Among AT&T customers who may be victims of a data breach, WGNO's Jordan Lippincott spoke with one of them. She joins us now. Jordan. Kurt, AT&T confirmed in a press release a data set found on the dark web contained social security numbers and passcodes for nearly 8 million current account holders and about 65 million former account holders. Cybersecurity experts with AT&T are still looking into a data breach that leaked millions of customers' personal information online. Customers were alerted March 30th. At that point, it wasn't, I didn't think of it being a big deal because uh, there were uh, other incidents over the last few months where uh, Louisiana driver's license had a breach and uh, uh, my mortgage company had had a breach. Studies show data breaches continue to climb with a 20% increase from 2022 to 2023. Some believe it's partially due to new types of ransomware attacks. The customer says a couple of days after hearing from AT&T, he received a notification from LifeLock, the identity theft protection software that said that my information was on the dark web, which included my name, I believe phone number, and uh, social security number. And it was then that I got concerned. AT&T proactively reset customers' passcodes, but also recommends customers to monitor their account activity and credit reports. And so I froze my credit with all three of the credit bureaus that keep your credit score on file and, and, and reach out to the loan companies that you can get loans to. And they, the, because the first step of getting a loan is to check your credit. AT&T says the data set that was released appears to be from 2019 or earlier, but they're not sure at this time if the data originated from AT&T or one of its vendors. Kurt? Jordan Lippincott reporting. Thank you, Jordan.